Here's a little profile of the variety of avocado tree called Hass. This is the Hass tree in my yard. It's about maybe 13, 14 feet tall. And you can see it's, uh, it's got kind of a rounded shape. Hass trees are usually like that. They're not so upright, not so horizontal. They're kind of in the middle. That's how they naturally grow. Um, one of the nice things about Hass is that it's a pretty productive tree. They start producing fairly early and they produce well year after year. Uh, this is mid-April and the fruit here uh, on, a ha on Hass trees in uh, San Diego County are tasting uh, pretty much prime now. There's not much fruit left on this tree because we've been eating a lot of them lately. They taste super good. But the nice thing about them is that they'll hang for a long time. So you, you, I mean, you can eat, you can start eating them early, February, January. They taste good, and then they'll get really great into the, in the spring, and they'll hang even into the summer. That's one of the best things about Hass. One of the downsides of Hass is that it's not so tolerant of. Um, not being watered well and it's not so tolerant of the salts that are in our irrigation waters so you get probably more tip burn on Hass trees than most other varieties and then also Hass doesn't tend to um, protect its fruit um, from the sun all that well oftentimes you'll find fruit kind of growing on the outside on the periphery of the canopy getting sunburn so that's not so great about Hass. Um, but Hass is widely adapted. It's, it's, a, it's a tree that produces well in the, both the hotter and colder kind of belts of avocado growing in Southern California. This tree right here, it's uh it's handled, I guess you could say, 118 degrees back in that July 2018. Was it 2018 or 2017? Heat wave. Um, and then uh, this last winter, it went through a 25 degree night. Got a little bit of damage, but not so bad. It didn't drop any fruit. Um, and now in that July heat wave of 118, it did drop all of its fruit. But uh, it... It, you know, it takes, uh, it even takes cold better than you might expect. 25 degrees, didn't drop any fruit, didn't even have serious twig damage on any of the um, branches. So, that's nice. You know, Hass, Hass isn't exactly the best in any one category, but overall it's kind of near the top in every category, and if I had one tree in my yard, it would be this one. So maybe it belongs in your yard too.